What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 11 team builder to take on Vic or Vickle Chaos and the Houndoom Hercules. Uh, very scary team, he is 9-0, plus 27, currently sitting in first place, uh, and maybe I can actually just bring that up and show you guys the standings right now. So I'm not sure if you can see this over top of the speed, so I'm just going to like adjust the speed and where it's located right now so that you guys can see the standings. Uh, currently, Vic uh, still has his week 10 match to play, but he'd be in first place regardless because he's at nine wins. Um, Evan, who beat us, uh, is sitting at eight and two, and then we're sitting in third place with the same differential, just a game behind him, uh, which I think is more impressive because we have less wins to get differential from. So um, yeah, we're sitting in a really good spot. We're tied with Bill Standish uh, in third right now, and then Loco, who we just beat, is in fourth. Uh, or technically fifth, uh, technically fifth, uh, but we're sitting in the playoffs right now. And my goal for the end of the season is to not have to play playoffs because I think my team is more of a gimmick team where I'm going to catch people off guard with one game rather than rebuilding for a rematch <laughs> in playoffs. Um, and I want to promote. So if I play people a second time, I think my game plans aren't going to work as well. And I think my builds aren't going to work as well. So the plan skis is uh, to not have to do that and to get a top two spot, which means we essentially need to win out. Um, and if we can do that then, and hope that Evan loses a game, um, then we're looking pretty for the second spot, honestly. Uh, however, this is our biggest challenge. Vic is our biggest challenge. Uh, we play Nacho, who's in ninth place, and Adam, who's in last place with our last two weeks. So I do feel like we have a good shot at winning our last two weeks for sure. Uh, but I would definitely rather finish the season 10-3 and three than 9-4. and four. So um, that's how we're going to play this and how we're going to do this. Uh, for those of you interested, um, Shiny Spam has played this game early. So he's actually 6-5 and five right now. Um, which means that the top six teams have at minimum six wins, which means all of those people with two wins right now, uh, except for Zach T, who hasn't played uh, all of his games yet. Um, so Axel Raid, Monster, and Adam are all officially eliminated from playoffs. So uh, Adam's going to literally have nothing to play for in our match, and that'll be interesting because he's got a flinch team, so I'm scared. Uh, but let's talk about Vic's team first. Megalopony, Hoop Unbounds the User, Zeraora, Scizor, Drudagon, which I actually spelled as Dirtagon, sorry about that, uh, Granbull, Sandslash, which is the User, Celebi, and Volcanion. Uh, priority options in Megalopony with Fico Quick Attack, Zeraora with Fico Quick Attack, and Scizor with Bullet Punch. Hazard Setting in Drudagon with Stealth Rocks, Sandslash with Stealth Rocks, Celebi with Stealth Rock. Uh, hazard removal in Scissor with Defog, Alolan Sandslash, sorry, not Alolan, uh, regular Sandslash with Rapid Spin and Volcanion with Defog. Four times weaknesses in Hoopa Unbound to Bug, Celebi to Bug, and Scizor to Fire. Big bug weakness, and his bug resists are, I mean, he's got bug resists for sure, uh, but I do think that bug is very spammable, which is why you see Buzzwool on the team and Vikavolt on the team. Uh, the only thing on my team that gets U-turn is Comfy, so... It's not the best matchup for Comfy, if I'm being honest. Uh, I did look at running Comfy, but Scizor is a bitch. Scizor's a bitch, Volcanion's a bitch. Uh, Comfy was able to revenge kill, um, not Celebi, the Lopany relatively well, and outspeed is fast stuff. Uh, because honestly, his speed drops off a cliff after Lopany. Uh, I mean, it's Zero Aura Lopany, then drops to Celebi, then drops to Hoop Unbound. So. Uh, I mean, there's only so much you can do with picking nine mons, and he picked a lot of high-budget uh, mons, like Megalopony, Hoop Unbound. I can't remember how much, how many points that took from him, but, like, a lot. <laughs> so, he is the high-budget team with the minimum number of mons on it. In terms of what I'm expecting him to bring, the only thing I can't really see coming is Sandslash. Uh, I really don't think that Sandslash has a great matchup unless he wants it for ground move for Salazzle. Uh, but Volcanion gets ground coverage. Drudagon gets ground coverage. I don't know. Excuse me. Um, I don't... I haven't watched any of his replays. And I know he's been watching all, if not most of my... Or most, if not all, of my battles. Um, so he's going to have a better read on, read on me as a battler. But... Um, 
I feel like Hazard Sack is just kind of good against him. Force him to switch around a lot with Hazards. Uh, and that's sort of my game plan, I guess. But um, Sand Slash could bring that spin aspect that might be useful. Uh, I don't necessarily see him getting up rocks super easily against me. Uh, and honestly, I'd be okay with him getting up rocks, kind of. Like, I don't really see a problem to letting him have rocks uh, versus me being able to have spikes against him and rocks. Um, he has nothing flying, so spikes are going to be very useful, and rocks don't really hit anything besides Volcanion that well, uh, but it's still a good chip. So, getting up, uh, I'm hoping to get up rocks and two layers of spikes, and that should be enough. If I get the opportunity to set a third layer, I'm going to go for it, but uh, not if it costs uh, a lot of stuff. Not if it costs me. Uh, so, first up is Donphan, physically defensive Donphan. And I'm actually running a tiny bit of speed to speed creep over Drodigon speeding no speed, uh, Drodigon speed creeping no speed Dawn fan. So uh, we'll always outspeed the Drodigon, which means we'll be able to get off hits on that thing better. Uh, I have rapid spin if he does want to get off rocks. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I really haven't bring I haven't been bringing removal all season, and I'm sort of changing that up this game because I want to sort of break the trend, especially against um, the top of the table. And so that's the play with Donphan. Um, Rocky Helmet means I can get Crucial Chip on the Lopany. Um, I don't know if he can afford to run Drain Punch against me. He might be able to, um, but Lopany as a whole has sort of a so-so matchup against me. Uh, he needs like a lot of coverage to be able to deal with me. He needs like Fire Punch to actually not get hardballed by Buzzwool. Um, he need I don't think he gets a flying move, uh, and that's why I'm saying that. He's going to need, like, Ice Punch to be able to break through Donphan a little bit better. Um, I mean, Fighting Stab breaks through Miltank Coragonal just fine. Uh, Ice Punch again for Dragalgy. Return, definitely he needs. So, um, he may or may not be able to run Sub. I don't think he can run Sub Cosmic Power, which is something I'm actually very scared of, is Sub Cosmic Power. Um, and I'm, I need, might need to refresh myself on the Baton Pass rules, because I'm not entirely sure... If he'd be able to run sub cosmic power baton pass and pass cosmic power boosts into hoop unbound uh, that would be absolutely devastating and i would 100 percent lose the game right there if he's able to um pass cosmic power boosts into hoopa uh, i like into a scarf hoopa passing cosmic power boosts he can just click buttons he can just click buttons and i have nothing to stop that um but yeah that's don fan don fans for the chip on that it's for chip on the scissor as well and it's my main Zero Aura check. I have to watch it for Grass Knot on that thing, or HP Ice, obviously. Uh, Granbull, again, could also be a problem, but there you go, that's Donphan. I guess I didn't explain the moves, but Ice Shard is just to pick things off and maybe break a Lopany sub at some point, potentially. Excuse me, I don't necessarily see that happening, but it could. Um, same with Celebi, I could Ice Shard the Celebi, break a sub, something like that. Uh, I shard the Sand Slash and Revenge it. Who knows what the utility is there for. Klefki, uh lost him making its season debut. I did drop a couple things, didn't I? Uh, was it just a couple or just the one? Oh no, I had already made two, and this was my last drop. So I ended up dropping Bisharp for Klefki, which I think was overall a better trade for me. Um, it, I mean, I don't have the Dark Resist to deal with Psychics now, but this is fine. I think, because I think Klefki offers a lot of support that Mega Alakazam kind of needed uh, to be a better cleaner. Um, I've sort of been using Mega Alakazam as a breaker, which it can fill. I mean, it can be a breaker or a cleaner. But I've sort of been using it as a breaker and then using, like, Buzzwool to clean. Uh, or Salazzle to clean. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever had that. Vikable to clean, I guess. I had that one Vikable game where Vikable swept. Um, so, that's Klefki's role, is the support. And Thunder Wave cucks his team. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Zero Aura can switch in on it, but, like... I'm going to go for spikes the first time anyways, so what does it matter? Um, I realize that I cannot Thunder Wave the Hoopa, which I'm kind of okay with. Uh, I do have the Dazzling Gleam there for the Hoopa. It'll break Lopany sub, etc. Uh, everything else I can Thunder Wave. I want to, like, Toxic Granbull. I want to Toxic Drudagon. Um, Celebi's obviously got Natural Cure. It might not be worth it, but the Toxic Chip could be helpful. Uh, I... I'm kind of because I took Klefki, because I picked up Klefki, I'm actually kind of expecting Gramble to come with Heal Bell. I think that makes a lot of sense for him to run a Heal Bell set against me to get rid of the status, but 
Um, for as long as I can have the status, it'll be worthwhile. And again, Klepki's main job is to get spikes up. That's pretty much its only job, I, I would say, is to get spikes up. Maybe slow down the Lopany if I can. Uh, or Toxic, the Zero Aura, etc. Um, yeah, that's that's Klefki's main role. Again, we've got Aquaberry on there, so I can eat a hit from the Volcanion, and I think his Lopany has to have Fire Punch to beat me, uh, to beat my Buzzwool, and so I've got the Aquaberry for Fire Punch on the Lopany as well. If I can trade um, Aquaberry for either breaking its sub, getting a layer of spikes up, or T-waving it, then I'm okay with that. Bringing Mega Alakazam, uh, Tim and Mega Alakazam, and I'll we'll talk about that in a second, but... Uh, Signal Beam, Psychic, HP Fire, Taunt, Signal Beam, obviously there for the Hoopa and the Celebi, HP Fire for the Scizor, and nothing else on his team wants to take a Psychic, so um, Mega Alakazam has a really strong matchup here, and I think he has to run Hoopa Scarfed to beat Mega Alakazam, um, and I honestly don't, okay, so the thing is, right, I have triple bug, um, so I'm almost tempted to say he doesn't run Hoopa, but he's probably running Hoopa because my bugs are slow, um, but yeah, like Bug is so threatening against his team and I have triple Bug. I think that he's going to have a relatively tough time building with Hoopa around the Bugs. Um, he could end up being Tangaberry. And if he is Tangaberry, then uh, Mega Alakazam's in trouble if he's physical Tangaberry. Um, so I kind of have to weaken him into a range. L let's us I'm going to go into this game assuming that he's Tangaberry. And I'm going to play with Mega Alakazam as if he's Tangaberry. Uh, and so I'm going to end up trying to chip the Hoopa down enough until I can catch it with a Signal Beam. Uh, and that's going to be Mega Alakazam's play. Uh, enough speed on the Mega Alakazam. So when I'm Mega, I will outspeed Zero Aura. Excuse me. Um, and actually, that may or may not be enough speed to outrun Hoopa. Uh, so if he's max speed Hoopa... He hits 426, and I'm speed creeping over 424. Ah, so I'm actually going to change that then, because I can outspeed Scarf Hoop Unbound with my Galakazam. So 426, just give me a second in the middle of this recording. Uh, Alakazam, I want to outrun 426. I want to hit 427. 212, so it's just adding 12. That's fine then. Uh, to 12, and we'll take that away from HP. So now we're outspeeding, and I'm going to make a note of this as well. Zam outspeeds, Scarf Hoop Unbound. See, now my useless information uh, of a head, <laughs> knowing that Scarf Skun Tank is the fastest thing that can outrun Magalakazam, now I know that Hoop Unbound with Scarf can't outrun me, uh, and I can blow it back with Signal Beam if he's Scarf. So I like uh, the fact that I just changed that a lot, and I want an odd value of HP, so we'll pop it there. Okay, uh, Buzzwool's next. Earthquake, Leech Life, Poison Jab, Drain Punch. I obviously cannot outspeed Scarf Hoop Unbound with Buzzwool if he's running max speed, which I think he would to outspeed Buzzwool. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Scarf Buzzwool puts in a ton of work against his team, and do I get Fire Punch? No, so that's fine then. Uh, I think I'm running, I'm only running Poison Jab for the Grand Bull, but I do think that I initially had the idea that I was running Fire Punch for Scizor, but Earth Punch does, or Earth Punch, oh my god, Drain Punch does a lot of work to his team. Earthquake is there for the Zero Aura and Volcanion in a last, last ditch effort, sort of. Uh, Leech Life obviously is there for the Hoop on the Celebi, and again, Drain Punch handles the Lopany, the Scizor, the Dredagon, and the Sand Slash. Enough speed on here for Adamant Megalopony. So I'm outspeeding Adamant Megalopony with the speed investment uh, plus my choice scarf. His knockoff users are Hoopa, Sand Slash, Scizor, Zero Aura. Uh, he's got quite a few knockoff users. I can't. I don't really care about losing my scarf though because anything underneath Buzzwool that would be running speed isn't going to speed create Buzzwool. Uh, for example, Volcanion can run modest max HP, no speed, and be totally fine, because uh, he doesn't need to outspeed anything on my team with Volcanion. So I think if he brings Volcanion, it's not going to run speed investment anyways. Uh, Dragalgy is next, running Draco Plate because I want to boost them dragon moves with Dracol Meteor to just hit the stuff really hard. HP Fire, obviously, for the Scizor. 
T spikes because they put in work on his team and if he's got heal bell and he doesn't bring a removal then T spikes are still going to stack up on him. So I do have every kind of hazard except the webs uh, which I'm not bringing because uh, my team does pack every single hazard and sludge bomb is there for the grand bowl mainly uh, but it's also there to get a poison on stuff so uh, over sludge wave I'm specifically running sludge bomb for the poison chance stating this now if I get the poison that's what I'm running it for I sorry Vic but I if I get the poison I wanted the poison that's the whole idea I'm kind of running like random investment on the Trilogy and I'm sorry I just dropped something on the floor and I need to pick it up uh, I'm running completely random investment here there's no possible reason why I'm running 160 special attack and 100 spit F I know I wanted max HP I know I wanted special attack investment and I know I wanted spit F investment so I just threw them in um, that's not BM or anything I just didn't care enough to, I, I guess it kind of is BM uh, because I didn't care enough to calc specific hits I'm just sort of relying on having a little bit of special bulk uh, in there and clef keys especially bulky as well again I threw these EVs in randomly um, on the clef key as well and I never touched on that but there you go uh, last but not least is Vikavolt or other bug AV so I can eat hits from the Hoopa and kill it with bug buzz that's the idea at least uh, I thought about running a physical set but I mean Vikavolt's a special attacker realistically so this does put in quite a bit of work. Flash cannons there for the Grand Bull. Um, Bug Buzz hits a lot of stuff on his team. Thunderbolt for the Volcanion. I can definitely eat a Volcanion hit with the AV and destroy it with the Thunderbolt, modest Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch for momentum. Uh, Sand Slash is a problem, but I mean, it doesn't want to take Bug Buzz from modest uh, max special attack bike Volt either. So that's the team. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys for the match.